Will the EU support industrial development in the Arctic by providing funding for the region and for research supposing safety and risk management? Yeah, I mean, again, I'm, I, I can't prejudge what we're going to write in our policy, but I think it's, it's taken as read that uh, we, we don't say, we don't sort of say, we don't in, encourage people per se to go and exploit or extract resources. We, we think that, you know, uh, business is a reality in the Arctic, and it's very important that 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 you know um, commerce and business continues in the Arctic. There are uh, useful resources there, but again, we make the uh, the point very seriously that we want it to be done in a sustainable way. So we will uh, do everything we can uh, to sort of set up a framework to allow. Um, you know, business uh, to uh, thrive in the Arctic for the benefit of Arctic people, uh, and also hopefully to move business in in a, in a sort of more future orientated direction. So yes, we we don't we have an industrial policy, but we don't uh, on a national level tell people um, what they should be doing. But we we encourage um, a sustainable economic development in the Arctic. Um, that means sustainable environmentally, but also socially and economically as well. I mean, we 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 recently the European Union uh, adopted a policy document on critical raw materials, for example. Now, if you look at the situation globally, uh, Europe is heavily dependent on um, on for rare earth minerals, for example, on, on countries like China, and and there are potential possibilities to extract such things in European countries. And you know, if that is done in a sustainable way, that is, has to be a good thing, so that we're less reliant on on third countries for our for minerals that will be needed for the green transition. I also read with interest the Swedish, uh, the recent Swedish Arctic policy document, um, which talked about the hope of doing carbon-free production of steel in the next ten years. So there are really good ideas out there that the European Union would encourage.